Hello there, it's Jamie from the world of tech.net. Today I'm going to be taking a look at an app called The Honey Badger Don't Care. It's a game on the App Store. It's 69p in the United Kingdom. I believe it's $1 in the United States. So we now take a look at the game. So this is the first screen that you'll see when you uh, fire up the game on your phone. So now if we start the game, you can now get the object of the game basically is to move around and try to eat stuff. <laughs> Here we go. So you can use the controls in the bottom hand, the bottom side of the screen, left hand and right hand side. The left hand side you can move it around like up, down, speed up, slow down, and then you can also tap if, if it's in a fight, so you can move around. And basically the main goal of the game is to eat some stuff. So you basically eat anything, like you've got the bee's nest there, you've got all these scorpions. You just need to manoeuvre your way around, eating as much as you can as you go through by tapping the button to eat. And you've got the hunger meter up here, and you've got these eagles and all different things and now that's what happens if you roll into there are various obstacles that you'll encounter as you go through the game so you've got the snake as well so you can see the main goal of the game you just have to go through eating stuff various different creatures and then they will occasionally attack back at you if you're not quick enough in time so you have to dig up you press multiple times to dig up these mice as well so you can slow down as well and speed up and move around and you've got your lives up in the top right hand corner and the pause menu here. So you've got your help options, uh, the sound controls where you can turn on and off the um, narration and sound um, and you can also turn on and off the commentary as well as well as get back to the main, uh, main menu. So here we'll go back right into the main game. There are a series of levels in the game and you can easily navigate through all of them but it's basically um, you progress through the game getting um, through days where you have to, the main goal is to eat some stuff. So you occasionally have these bigger beasts which take a bit more effort to actually um, destroy and then you've got the lives, see my lives have gone right down and you have these special things here where you can eat multiple different So there we go, we finished the first day, so now we're into day number two um, and as you go through the days the difficulty level increases so you start off and then you, you gradually build up more intensity, like for example you have obstacles you have to move out of the way of here. And then if you continue to roll into the obstacles, you fall asleep and you have to tap the honey badger to wake it up. There we go. And then you've obviously got your score up in the top hand corner there. So that's basically what the game is about. You go through uh, various different levels. It's, it's a platform game where you move around controlling the honey badger itself, aiming to get more, more points as you go through. Um, I've so far only got up to level 5 on the game, although I'd, I'd rate this game quite high in um, terms compared to, compared to other games. It's, it's not as addictive as, say for example, Doodle Jump, um, but it's fairly addictive and it's a fun game to play. Um, so I, I would highly recommend it if you are looking in the market for some games on your iDevice. And this will work on um, iPhone and iPod Touch. I don't think there's an iPad version out at the moment, um, although I'm sure they will do something like that in the future. So on the main menu anyway, you've got these options here. You've got your sound and uh, video options. You've got your achievements here. And then if we go back, you've, you've got links to Randall's narration, uh, the YouTube and various other things and of course your game center there as well. So um, that's basically the Honey Badger game so I'd highly recommend it if you were looking to get some new games for your iDevice. Um, this is the iPhone and iPod Touch version. I don't believe there's an iPad version out currently. So that's basically the Honey Badger game. Now I'd highly recommend this if you're looking to buy a new and interesting game for your iDevice. Uh, this is the iPhone and iPod Touch version. I don't believe there is a uh, iPad version as of current. Um, although the game itself is really good, I'd highly recommend it. It's 69p on the App Store. 
Thank you for watching, so please subscribe, rate, and comment.